Hey, what is up, all you mechanical maniacs? Here's Quasar here. Welcome back to another episode of Barn Bargains and Other Cheap Challenges. Yes, we've got the engine in the charger yesterday, or last week. We've got the rear end pretty much set up on here. Uh, I think now it's nothing more than... Uh, I'll tell you what. We're going to do a little bit of this, and then we'll go over here to the O'Connor Mobile over here. Um, reason being... I did ask in the last episode if you guys thought I should or should not keep the car over there. Because I was just going to, I kind of like, ah, I shouldn't even keep it. I don't know if I should keep it. I was toddling the idea of just getting rid of it, just selling it, uh, selling it for some cash. And then I was like, uh, I don't know. You know, people would maybe be a little upset about it. Is that, is that, is that green? Pretty much all that. I did not get the fuse box. The fuse box is what needs to be taken care of. All right. Um, go ahead and repair the fuse box. Now I need a cover for it, and I don't have one. Uh, I don't have one with me, I should say. So I have the wheels for for the, the machine, for the O'Connor machine, but I didn't know if I should actually keep it or if I should sell it so i was asking in the last episode and nobody commented on it so i was like okay yes i'll keep it for right now i don't want to offend anybody so i'm going to keep it and we'll probably do some repairs on it today we'll get this taken care of i mean it takes it's taken a little bit to take care of some of these cars because they are so messed up um so we're just going to do Typically, if you see me in Rot to Rat, I just buy a bunch of this stuff. But because we should be conscious about our spending habits, I am trying to keep it as frugal as possible. Type A. I need two of you. So I'm only getting what I need. Two of you, two of you. Four of you. Type A fuse three. Type B three. And type C one. Alright. So I'm only spending money that I need to spend to get this car on the road. So this is actually this is gonna be one of them I'm gonna put out front, I believe. We haven't been outside yet, but I have not had a chance to get my parking in order for across the street. I haven't done it yet. I've uh, been really busy, to be honest with you. So, that was just one thing I just have not been able to put my finger on exactly how I want to design it, rotate it, or do whatever I wanted to do with it over there. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Let me go ahead and we'll just sell all this stuff. It's all good. All right. Um, all I need to do is do the front end on this, and I think this would be done. So, maybe... Um, Instead of working on this one, let's get this one finished. Let's see if where do I want to park it at out here. Um, I'm probably going to replace. Uh, that's why. Um, I'll re probably replace this GTO. With it. Um, that's probably what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to that GTO over there is going to come into the shop eventually. Yeah, I've got I've got plans for it. I, I really do. I just ha I have plans for it. So let me see if I can get this thing uh, worked on and get it completed. Let me do a quick uh, run over frame. Frame is ninety nine percent. I didn't uh, move equipment to one. Didn't I not do this? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Let me get this, get this. Thing. Okay, let me take a look at C. I'm 100% now. Yeah, okay. So interior is 82%, parts 85%, body is 82%. Yikes. Um, what did I, have I not, I haven't done all this yet, have I? Nope. Okay, so let me repair all these pieces real quick. Yeah. I have to replace the glass. For some reason, I thought I'd done all this already. I guess not. 
So let's get this all taken care of. Uh, while I have it all apart, might as well do the interior too, right? Right. This is a lot more work than I thought I had going on. Okay, so interior. Uh, let's remove it. All right. So I need to do, yes, the rear end is all complete. I need to do the front end. All right. So let's go over here to the body pieces. Let's go ahead and get these all taken care of. I don't have to replace any of these now, so I really screw up this time around. These are on really good, these are on really good shape. I'm going to have to replace all the glass because glass does not get repaired. Um, no matter how good of a shape it's in, it's not going to repair itself. So, get some glass. Interior is the same way. You don't want to keep the same old interior in there anyway. Trust me. Depending on where this thing's been sit been sitting in a barn, so God only knows what it smells like. So we're going to take care of that as well. All this stuff will be good to go. Spending minimum, right? So it's going to cost me nine, like nine credits for this. <laughs> 56 credits for that. It's a lot cheaper to do it this way. Than it would be just to buy all new parts and pieces. So yeah, that's a that's a thing. Um, oh, car part three. That needs to be done. Uh, do I see something? Drive shaft. Okay, let me go repair that real quick. Okay, so now that's done. Oh, 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 nope, 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 this is body. Oh, there we go. All right, so that's done. Let's go ahead and do uh, interior. Look at my inventory here. Not so sure I want that steering wheel, but... Um, I don't know if I need two seats on this, but one, but I'm going to go ahead and buy two. It's probably going to be, um, you, you watch, it's probably going to be only one and I will have, yep, I spent too much money. There you go. All right. Go ahead and start building the outside of this sucker. Nice. Coming together really good. I do not have plates for it yet. I'll have to buy those. Get this all put back together real quick. Okay. Anything on that side? I think I'm good, right? All windows. So let me try to sell off the seats and stuff. Ah, uh, so I need glass. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go to fresh imports right here. Sell the rest of the stuff off. There we go. Alright. Uh, plates. Let me go ahead and get some plates for this silly thing. Uh, we're going to go with some California plates. Ooh. Bye. Okay. 
I don't know why I bought two, because I just wanted to put the rear one on. 100%. Where's the one up front go? Right there. Guess I'll stick it on there. Make it all a complete, right? Make it a complete set. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell off all these parts. You're good to go. All right. Uh, all that's been done. Let's go ahead and... Take care of the front end on this sucker. All right. So things have been going pretty smooth on this sucker. That's that's for sure. Uh, seems to be doing okay. They replaced placed a lot on here, but it hasn't been too overwhelming, so not too bad. Um, enjoying it actually. We are going to go, let's see here, that, uh, come on, oh, that, I thought it was going to come out by itself, how about that, I'm so silly, okay, nothing else on this side, over here to the other side. Thank goodness this thing had decent wheels on it because I was afraid I would have to go out searching for these things. Now, trying to find these was going to be pain in itself because this car only spawns in the barn, I believe. So I would have to start looking at barns. I would have to probably end up taking this and putting it to the side. And then whenever I did more barn finds, look for another one of these and then go from there so thankfully that's why one of the reasons why i look at some of the barn finds is make sure it has all the body pieces and the wheels um those are important okay. this shouldn't take me too long to put it back together So far, I haven't seen any piece that's going to be a showstopper, so that's good. All right, that's this. Okay. While we are turning the brakes, we're going to start repairing all this other stuff. So, two birds, as they would say. Oh, crap, that wasn't good. All right, I don't know what I failed to... I have to go look. Okay, damn. I wasn't paying attention. I was listening to this. Okay. I need a caliper and a cover. Okay, let's see if I have a brake caliper. Suspension and brakes. Brake caliper. Oh, I've got a couple of them that are 100%. And caliper cover. Um, I think that's it. Let me take a look in my inventory. Yeah. We're good. We're good. Let me take that off. All right. So much for that. Okay. So now, looking at our inventory, what do we need? We'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. We need brake pads, shock absorbers. Inner and outer bushings, bearings, wheel cap, and links. Okay, let me uh, take these wheels apart. What do we need here? We need brake pads, too. We need... Let's 
sway bar, tie rod two, outer tie rod two, rubber bushing. I think we need eight of these. I think I counted that right. Two of those, two of those, and two of those. And two of these tires. This is our pair of the rims. Both those were actually really close. I think I could have really messed that up. Um, okay, so I need 315, 3021s. Fifteen, thirty, twenty-one. Go. Out them up. Oh, I have to get the shock absorbers too. I forgot about that. Oh, close. There we go. Okay, shock absorbers. Let's get suspension pieces. Uh, I need two of you, two of you, and two of you. Done, done, and done. Oof. I'm gonna wipe my, wipe my head off on that towel there. All right. We should have it. Pretty much set up. Let's go ahead and start throwing these pieces together. Should get rid of all the old pieces first, but kind of got into a rhythm here, you know, after I repaired the pieces and I was like, oh, okay, I'm just like I'm in the groove, man. I am in the groove. I will say there's been some beautiful pieces being produced over on um, on our discord and on the discord channel if you if you join our discord channel or my discord channel you look in the um, car mechanic simulator area uh, we've got people that are just producing phenomenal phenomenal looking um, rides just it's just incredible what they could do just it, they are only limited by their imagination that's all there is to it man come up with some nice stuff over there so big kudos to you guys over there i love watching it love seeing it i would love for you guys actually i would love for you guys to, to join the facebook page if you would and then post those pictures over there because every month at the beginning of every month i post uh i post a new picture for the facebook page and um, for those that are there that are, that watch this and, and they do post pictures, I ask that you don't post a picture from your phone. Take it from within the game. It's just a better quality, a better quality picture. And I've seen some, some nice rides, but the qual picture quality was just horrible. So yeah. so if you do that, please, please, please think about using the in-game camera, not the, uh, not your phone. Uh, let's see, get that in the wheel. Okay, now we have to get exhaust. Okay, so these I'm going to have to buy. So let's open that. Let's get two of those bad boys. Those are it. And I need 
transmission starter and gearbox. So let's take a look here. Let's go ahead and dump. I dump everything in here. Yeah. Yeah, we're slowly but surely losing out money. So we're going to have to do, I'm going to, I'm going to have to do something as far as jobs. Uh, transmissions, do I have a, oh my God, I don't have one. Um, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that scared me for a minute. I thought. RS starter? Do we have starters? Yes. Okay. Let's see if we can repair the starter. Done. All right. With the installation of this, we should be 100% complete. And get those back there. And where's the starter at? The starter should be here somewhere. There it is. Oof. Man, that was hiding out. All right. Let me take a quick gander at our statistics here. 99 parts, 99%. What am I missing? What did I miss? Battery tray, battery tray bracket, ah, steering rack. Oh, crap. Did I put the old steering rack in there? Oh, my goodness. Did I do that? I can't believe that. Okay. So let's see if I can I take that out. Nope, I got to take the tire off. Damn it. Okay. I need a steering rack. Um, I was not paying attention, was I? Uh, hey, steering rack. 54%. I don't know how I missed that. Um, I think I just left it in the car. Can I repair the steering rack? Yes. Okay, so that's repaired. Um, batteries, battery back here. So that's accessible from the engine bay. Come on. So let me dump this out real quick. And let me get back to here. There we go. I think, I think, I have to replace all these. Okay, let me try to repair these. I don't think I can. Yeah, none of that is repairable except for the battery. Let's go ahead and stick the battery on there. Ah, okay. Over here, we need... Let's go over here. This, this, one, and two. Nope. Tray. Battery tray bracket. Two rods. Battery. Okay. Let's back up from the front end. Go navigate that all back here. It is right in the way of the gas tank. <laughs> How did they get away with that? And that battery bracket. There we go. So that should be all set up there. Okay. Let's put you back in the air. Let's put this front end together again.
Yeah, I think I left the stringer rack in there. I didn't pull it out. That's why I didn't see it. Otherwise, it would have been repaired. My doofusness. Failed to see it one more time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that should be it, correct? 100% across the board. There we go. That's what we're talking about. All right, let's, um, we're going to throw some fluids in it. And then uh, I'm going to take care of the, some of the minor things like um, wheel alignment. I've got to get the wheel alignment done. I've got to get the headlight alignment done. Let's get all of this stuff. This always slows me down. I'm like on a roll and then I have to fill everything up with fluids. Where is the power steering at? It's over here somewhere. There it is, down there. Man, it's tight getting in here. Right, and she's full. Okay, so full, full, and full. Next stop is the test path. All right, what do we do in the test path? Well, the test path is where we adjust wheels if i decided to take this sucker out on a track which i might um not today but i probably will the next time we get together um need to have everything in alignment you know what i mean can't be driving something like this out on a track with the wheels out of alignment you just will not be able to steer it at all so don't even try right don't even try please just it's crazy Done and done. Okay. I don't need to paint it because it's good to go. We're going to take her over to the dyno. She's all fluid up and there's nothing. I don't think there's anything to tune. We didn't increase anything. So yeah, we're good. All right. <laughs> Start it up. Range for the Alpha Drag Rating. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Like I said, we may have to take this thing out on the track and just see what it does and can do. Alright, I'm going to park you out in front of the bay. Here out in front of two. And then, um, a little later, I'll swap some cars around. So, that's going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for hanging with me. I certainly appreciate it. Um, why are all those 100%? Did I not put the 100% ones on there? Wait a minute. Um, something is screwy. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, all right. We're going to take care of that and get rid of it. And uh, I will catch you guys later. In the meantime, you guys take care. Have a good one. This is Quasar saying good night, everyone.